Hi, just a quick disclaimer before we start this video. If you do upgrade to Android Q, you can't currently downgrade back to Android 9 Pi until the next Android Q beta update has been released. I'll put a bit more information at the end of the video and the transcript that I had for the Samsung representative, but I just want you to know that before you proceed with this video. Hi, it's John from Android Addicts with a quick video showing you how to upgrade to Android 10 for the Galaxy S10 Plus. So if you've seen my previous video, which I will put a link to in the top right hand corner, you should now be a member of the Samsung Members Beta Program. So this gets you Samsung's Android 10 with Samsung's One UI 2.0 Beta. Now I've already registered and I've got the update ready to install. So I'm just going to click through and we'll go through together updating the phone. So before we actually do the update, I'm going to just go over to the PC and we're going to do a manual backup of the phone using Samsung Smart Switch for PC. This will back up the phone, all the apps and settings, which will be useful before we actually do the update. I highly recommend always doing a backup of the phone if you can do, because you never know what could go wrong during an update. So make sure you've got it all backed up. We'll go and do that now, and then we'll head back once the backup is complete. Okay, so here we are on the PC. We're gonna load up Samsung Smart Switch, plug our phone in, and once it's recognized, it should pop up on the screen. Now go and click on the more button here and go into the preferences and here we can actually select what items we're going to back up. So here you can see the different content I'm backing up on my phone. I haven't selected images, music or videos because I actually back those up with Google Photos. So once you're happy all the settings are OK, press the OK button and just click confirm and then all you need to do is click backup. Now this took mine about 15 or 20 minutes to complete. It does depend on how much data you've got. Obviously the more data, the longer it will take. But I'd go and uh, make a cup of tea or something while it's doing this and then we're going to come back to once it's finished and proceed with the update. Okay, so now we're happy that our phone is completely backed up, we're going to start the update to Android 10. Right, so the update has just finished. So we're just gonna confirm we are actually on Android 10. And here we can see we're on One UI version 2.0 and Android version 10. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching the video. As I promised at the start, here is the transcript I had with the Samsung representative regarding trying to downgrade back to Android 9 Pi. What he's saying here is that if you don't get a downgrade button when you plug it back into the smart switch on your PC, then you're going to have to wait until the next beta update before you're going to be able to downgrade. Now I'm not quite sure why Samsung do it this way. I know with my Huawei phone it was just a simple plug in and downgrade. But here we're having to wait for the next batch of updates to come out before we can actually downgrade, which is a bit, well, it's a bit backwards if you ask me. But this is the transcript I had with the uh, representative. So have a read through. And yeah, it's just a quick warning basically to let you know that you can't currently downgrade as easily as you would maybe hope to. So again, thanks for watching the video and I will see you again in the next one.